Hey guys, today I'm going to be giving a lesson on number building, which is one of my favorite things to do. We are at home, which means we don't have all of our Montessori materials, but everything that's on my rug right now, you can actually print out from our folder. I'll show the links in the description. So here's the setup. I have the large card layout spread out. By the time you're doing this, your child should be able to spread this out on their own. I also have some of these printouts of my golden beads. I've got a stack of units, tens, hundreds, and thousands. I also have a recording sheet for this work. You can print that out from our folder, and I have markers, you could use colored pencils as well, in the same colors as these numerals. So I've got green, blue, and red. In the Montessori classroom, you would have everything spread out. So your bank would be somewhere across the classroom that you'd have to walk to to actually get the bead materials. A lot of times you would have the large card layout in another space, and then finally you would be building your numbers on and still another space. So it really depends on your child. Some children really need that extra movement and the extra movement helps to really solidify the learning concepts that they're doing. Um, so if your child is such a child, feel free to put the large card layout on the table over there and put the beads in another room and finally have a special spot where they're gonna be building their numerals. You have to kind of weigh out how much movement do they need versus how much distraction can they handle and going from one place to another. another. Alrighty, so to get started, um, we're going to do these number categories one category at a time. So, for example, I would bring over a numeral and I would say to the child, can you go and get this many units? They would go to wherever the bank is and bring back one two, three. That's right, you brought back three units. Okay, um, hmm. Now, can you fetch this many tens? Four tens, okay. Let's get four tens. One, two, three, four. Let's see what you brought back. 10, 20, 30, 40, or four tens. You brought back 40. Now, at first, this might be as far as you go. You would show your child, wow, let's see how much we have all together. 10, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, 43. Wow, if we put this three on top of here, we make the numeral 43. Awesome. Now, if your child is past that and they understand that well, then you might keep going. Okay, let's get 100. This says 600. Let's fetch 600s from the bank. 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600. 600. Okay, and now let's get a thousand amount. And I am seeing I'm gonna run out of space, so I'm gonna move this over. And let's get this numeral. Two thousand. Okay. Let's get that from the bank. One thousand, two thousand. Fantastic. So now we're ready to put our numerals together and see what we get. In the classroom, if I have real cards of this and not just paper slips, I, I do something I like to call the magic slide. You can try it with the paper slips. You stack them all up on the left-hand side over here, and then slide to reveal the numeral that we built. Let's read this together. 2,643. 
2,643. Wow, we built that number. To record it, we're going to use these same colors that are on here. So my thousands oops, are green. 2,000. My hundred is red. 600. My tens column is blue. 40. And my units are back to green. 2,643. We built that. And you would celebrate with them this achievement of building this giant number. Then before you move on, you'll reset. So let's put everything back. Da -da -da -da. And you can increase this in difficulty as your child is able. So the way I just showed you, we got just one category at a time. As they progress, you would be able to choose all of them at the same time and say, okay, I want you to go and get this many beads from the bank. They would bring those down. You would check with them to make sure they have the correct amount of each, each of these numerals and then put it together and practice reading it. The other thing that you wanna make sure you're practicing is going in the opposite direction as well. And what I mean by that is what we did is numerals to quantities. Now I want to do quantities to numerals. So for that, starting in the same kind of way, I would give the child an amount. Okay, let's count how many units we have. One, two, three, four. Okay, four units. Can you go and fetch the tag that says four? That's right, you brought back four. All right, I'm going to count you out some tens. 10, 20, 30. 10, 20, 30. 30 tag. Set out some hundreds. 100, 200, 300, 400, 400. And remember, ideally, like all this is spread out so that there's more movement in it. But for the sake of this video, I wanted it to all be together. And I'm just going to put out 1,000. We would bring that down. Then we would practice putting it all together. reading it. We have 1,434. 1,434. Fantastic. We went from quantities to numerals. All right, let's reset. We'll reset in between each one. So you want to do lots of practice with this until they can really do it in their sleep. Um, and that's going to set them up for starting to do operations in the decimal system, um, which is an amazing way to get hands-on experience with these really big quantities. The foundation is building these quantities first. So at home, you could practice cards to beads and beads to cards to at least fill up this recording sheet front and back. And if they need more practice with it from there, I would keep going. Some games that you can play, you could mix it all up and choose it from it randomly. Um, you could have them choose whichever numbers they want to build. You could choose it for them. Um, and again, you can do it column by column, one at a time, or you can put them all together um, that would be a more advanced version. So this is such a big part of the math curriculum in the Montessori classroom, and I'm excited to be able to share a version you can do at home, um, especially for my rising Ks. I really would love if you could practice this because it's going to put you in a strong place for your kindergarten year. Alrighty, Miss Caitlin out. Thank you very much.